So let's do a related rates challenge problem. This says air is being pumped into a spherical balloon at a rate of 4.5 cubic feet per minute. Find the rate of change of the surface area of the balloon when the radius is one foot. So step one in a related rates problem is to make a sketch. We're gonna label any constant measures with a number and any changing measures with a variable. So here we have a spherical balloon and air is being pumped into the balloon. So the only measure in a sphere really is the radius. So this radius here, because air is being pumped in, it's gonna be changing, it's getting bigger. Therefore, we are going to put a variable for the radius, we'll put R. Because there are no other measures in this sphere that are changing or constant, we can move on to the second part of step one, which is to state all given quantities and quantities to be determined. So what are we given in this problem? We are given that air is being pumped into the balloon at a rate of 4.5 cubic feet per minute. Notice that this rate is cubic feet per minute. Because it's cubic feet, it's the rate at which volume is changing. So the rate at which the volume is changing would be dv dt, and that would be equal to 4.5 cubic feet per minute. We also want to state what we are trying to determine. What are we trying to find in this problem? It says find the rate of change of the surface area of the balloon when the radius is one foot. So the rate of change of the surface area, we'll just say S is equal to the surface area, capital S. So dS dt then would be the rate of change of the surface area. That's what we're trying to find when R is equal to one, when the radius is one foot. Again, one of the most common mistakes here is plugging in one for your radius right away. And then when you take the derivative, you can't find your answer because dR dt no longer exists. So we're gonna plug in one for R, but we're not gonna do it till step four. Step two in a related rates problem is to state our equation. So what are we trying to find here? We are trying to find ds dt, the rate of change of the surface area when the radius is equal to one foot. So the rate of change of the surface area, if that's what we're trying to find, then our equation should be the surface area formula for a sphere. That way, when we take the derivative of that with respect to time, we get ds dt. So what's the surface area formula for a sphere? That would be s is equal to four pi r squared. Now all we have to do is take the derivative of this implicitly with respect to time. So how do we implicitly differentiate this with respect to time? Well, the derivative of s with respect to time is gonna be ds dt. The derivative over here looks complicated, but four pi is just a constant that you can leave out front. And then all you have to do is just take the derivative of r squared with respect to time. So what's the derivative of r squared? That's gonna be two r to the first power. But since you're taking the derivative with respect to time, you have to tack on a dr dt. So we now have an equation where two rates are set equal to each other. Therefore, it's a related rates problem. That's why we call it that. But notice in this particular instance, in order to find ds dt, we need to know what r is and we need to know what dr dt is. Well, we already know r is gonna equal one. That's what we're gonna plug in here. But we have no idea what dr dt is. We were given dv dt. So we need to use this information to figure out what dr dt is. So here's how this is gonna work. We're actually gonna go back and we are going to find dr dt when r equals one. Because if we find that, then we can just plug it into that formula that we already had, and then we can solve for ds dt, which is actually what we're trying to find here. So we need to find dr dt first. How do we do that? Well, we need to use what we're given. We're given dv dt, the rate at which the volume is changing. So let's use for our equation, the volume of a sphere formula. The volume of a sphere formula is v is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. Now, when we implicitly differentiate that, that with respect to time, the derivative of v is just gonna be dv dt. Over here, four thirds pi, that's just a constant. You can just leave out front. So when you take the derivative of this, you're just taking the derivative of r cubed, which is gonna be three r squared. Then because it's an r, you have to tack on a dr dt. The three and the four thirds, the threes just cancel each other out and you get four pi r squared dr dt. Now we again have two rates in an equation, therefore it's a related rates problem. And the whole reason we did this is because now in our fourth step, we can take 4.5 cubic feet per minute, we can take that 4.5 and plug it in for dv dt. We also know this is gonna happen at r is equal to one when the radius is equal to one foot, so we can plug in one for our r here. Now we can solve for dr dt when r is equal to one. So if we were to solve this, we just simplify one squared times four pi is just four pi, divide both sides by four pi, you get dr dt is equal to 4.5 over four pi. And if you were to put that in your calculator, it's approximately 0.358. So we have just found the rate of change of the radius of the balloon, dr dt, when r is equal to one. 
Now, how does that help us? Well, we can actually go back now and figure out what the answer to this question is, the rate of change of the surface area of the balloon when the radius is equal to one. So our given quantity, again, we were given dv dt, the rate at which the volume is changing is 4.5 cubic feet per minute. But we also now know that dr dt, when r is equal to one, is 4.5 over four pi. We are trying to find, as we said before, the rate of change of the surface area when r is equal to one. So ds dt when r is equal to one. We already found our equation for the surface area of a sphere. We took the derivative implicitly. If you recall, we already did this and we got ds dt is equal to eight pi r dr dt, where these two rates are being related. Now this problem, again, gave you dv dt so that we could figure out dr dt when r is equal to one. And that would be 4.5 over four pi. So when we move on to step four, which is to substitute in our known values, the whole reason they gave us dv dt was so that we could find dr dt when r is equal to one. So we're gonna take 4.5 over four pi, plug that in here for dr dt. And we're also gonna plug in one for r because it's when the radius is equal to one foot. Now we have all the values that will help us figure out what the rate of change of the surface area is when the radius is equal to one foot. So all we have to do is just simplify this in our calculator and we end up getting nine square feet per minute. That is the rate of change of the surface area of the balloon when the radius is equal to one foot. Remember, this is a word problem, so you need to answer in a sentence.